Hi there, in today's video you will learn how you can turn this default PowerPoint slide layout, into this great looking custom PowerPoint slide layout. It has a custom gradient background, slide title placeholder, subtitle placeholder, a gradient button, custom picture placeholder, custom slide number and a place for your logo. Once the slide layout will be finished, we will easily fill it with our own content. Alright, let's start the interstellar journey. Alright, so once you open up PowerPoint, this is what you usually see, a default slide layout with two text placeholders. That's useful, if you want to create a title slide quickly, however today we will take it to another level, and create our own custom slide layout. Once you click on the layout button, you can see all of the slide layouts that exist in the presentation, we can see all of the default slide layouts, and as well one custom layout, that I have already created. For now, let's just start with a blank slide layout. So, how do we actually edit this blank slide layout? To do that, we have to go into something that's called a slide master. You can go to view, and click on the slide master button, or you can hold down the shift key, and click on this little, normal view button, at the bottom of the screen. And now we have successfully entered the slide master view, here on the left side you can see all of the slide layouts that exist in the presentation. And here at the top we can see the slide master layout, it's like the boss of all the slide layouts, what happens on the slide master layout, will be visible on all of the slide layouts. Let's say we insert a logo in the slide master layout, in that case, this logo will be visible on all of the slide layouts. So that's really useful, if you want to do some global changes. For now, let's remove the sample logo, and let's focus on our blank slide layout. Let's duplicate it, and let's give it a new name, so that we can find it easily, once we click on the layout button later on. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe, so that you don't miss my future videos, thank you so much. Alright, so first let's create a custom slide background. Let's just right click on the slide, choose format background, and choose a gradient fill. You might see three color stops in your gradient, and if you would like to have just two colors in your gradient, grab any color stop that you don't need, and drag it away, to remove it. Now pick any colors that you want, adjust the color position if needed and pick a gradient direction that you like. You can as well adjust the brightness of any color if needed. Alright, the slide background is ready, well done. Now let me copy the interstellar logo and paste it into our slide, you can obviously insert your own logo, and remember, if you would like your logo to appear on every slide layout, just paste it into the slide master layout. For this tutorial, I'll keep my logo just on this layout, in case we need to move the logo around. Next, let me show you, how you can create this custom slide number. So usually, when you insert a slide number into your slide, it appears at the bottom right corner of your slide, however, today we will be doing things differently, and place the slide number on the left side of the slide. So now, let's just select the slide number box and let's do a couple of changes. Let's change the font color to white. Let's center align the text. Let's change the font to Nunito Sans Light. Let's use font size 10. Additionally, let's reduce the width of this slide number box. To do that, we can go to Format Shape, Text Options, uncheck wrap text and shape, and then click on resize shape to fit text, and now your slide number box should shrink automatically. Now let's position the slide number box at the bottom left corner of the slide. You can first align the slide number box with the logo, and after that, drag the slide number downwards. Nice. Next, let me show you how you can create this little frame around the slide number. And to create that, we will need to insert a rounded rectangle, and rotate it 45 degrees to the right side. Now
Now let's remove the fill, and choose a gradient line with two colors, Pick a gradient direction that you like as well. Feel free to adjust the roundness of your rounded rectangle, by dragging the yellow handle. And now let's center align the rounded rectangle, and the slide number. If you would like to resize your rounded rectangle, you can do that easily, by holding down the control and shift keys, to resize from center. And next, let's create a couple of text placeholders, one for our slide title, and one for a text block, and a button after that. First, let's make sure that we are on the Slide Master tab, then let's go to, Insert a Placeholder, and choose Text. Now let's just drag to create a text placeholder, and let's make a couple of adjustments. Let's set the font color to white. Let's remove the bullet points. Let's insert a custom placeholder text, for example, your slide title. Now let's change the font, I'm using Nunito Sans Extra Bold, font size 54. Let's set the vertical text alignment to bottom. And let's decide, where exactly we would like to position this title placeholder, and to do that, we can activate the slide guides, so that we can see, where is the center of the slide. And now, let's just move this title placeholder upwards, until the word, title, touches the horizontal guide. And this is absolutely a creative choice, feel free to create what looks best for you. And let me make a few more changes to this title placeholder, let's remove all of the margins. And let's set the line spacing to multiple, 0.8 and for the before spacing I'm using zero. To make more space between the letters, let's set the letter spacing to loose. Alright, the title placeholder is finally ready, well done. Now let's duplicate it, we can hold down the control and shift keys to drag a copy in a straight line, this will be our text block placeholder. Once again, let me change the font, font color, font size, vertical text alignment, line and letter spacing. And by the way, let's not forget to add a white glow to our slide title, this is actually a white text shadow, with a blur of 100 points. Super nice, now our slide title has a nice white glow. Next, let me show you how you can create a button placeholder, and to create it, let's just duplicate our slide title and resize the font. You can as well select your button. Go to, Edit Shape, then Change Shape, and choose a rounded rectangle, to give your button a rounded look. Let me copy a button from my previous slide layout, so that I can match the height and the width of the buttons. Alright, and now, let's just move all of these three guys a little bit to the left side, and let's add a gradient fill to our button, with three color stops.
After that, we can add a purple shadow with a blur of 100 points. Nice. Let me just adjust the white text shadow inside the button. Alright, and now let's create a custom image placeholder. To do that, let's first insert a huge rectangle. And let's rotate it a bit to the right side, I'm using 25 degrees. Let's add a bit of fill transparency, so that we can see the slide. Now let's turn on the slide guides, and let's bring the rectangle a little closer to the slide center. And next, let's resize the rectangle, so that it completely covers the right side of the slide. We can as well resize the text boxes, so that there is no overlapping. Okay, and now let's go to insert placeholder, and let's choose a picture placeholder. Let's drag and create a full screen picture placeholder, after that, let's make sure, that the full screen picture placeholder is still selected, hold down the shift key, and select the rectangle, and now go to, merge shapes, and choose intersect. This way, we have created a custom picture placeholder. We can as well change the color, and the alignment of the picture placeholder text. Nice. And here at the bottom, as you can see, we have a date placeholder, and a footer. We will not be using these in today's tutorial, but you can easily customize them, in a pretty much the same way, as we have customized the text placeholders. And now let's finally jump back, to the normal view. Let's go to layouts, and let's choose our newly created layout. Nice. If you notice, that your slide number is missing, don't worry, just go to, insert, slide number, check slide number, and click apply. And now we can easily replace all of the text placeholders, with our own content. We can as well, change the button label, let's type in, subscribe. If you would like to, you could even add a hyperlink to this button, and make it clickable. Let me know in the comments, if you would like to learn that. And now, let's click on the picture placeholder, and let's insert any photo that we wish. Special thanks to Unsplash.com, for providing this photo. Congratulations, now you know, how you can create a custom slide layout in PowerPoint. Feel free, to download today's tutorial slides for absolutely free, all of the info is in the video description. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, subscribe and let me know in the comments below, what you would like to learn next. Thank you so much, and until next time.